Okay, so this is the bus I just finished uh, building, a grooming bus. And I want to show the owner how to use it because we are, she is having it picked up today. So I want to make a video so she knows. Well, to begin with, we have a grooming table here and it's tied with these here at the bottom. You can remove them and take the table. You can turn it sideways. You can put it in the middle here, right? You can walk around it and groom your dog. So you're not having to change the dog left to right here. It's nice. This space here is a good addition. You can put your, if you buy a toolbox, like a mechanics toolbox, keep all your tools in it, strap it down. This one has shades on it, which is nice. Keeps it nice and cool inside. Here we have a 50 gallon, a 55 gallon water heater. Open the door, bring your hose, fill it right there. See that here? Simple. Here we have uh, two pumps, one pump for your water hose, and the other pump is for the heat exchanger, which is down here. This is a 30 gallon tub here. See this, now it's open. You can see the blue valve is straight. If it's turned the other way, it'll close it. So you can drain it. Most people leave it open and just drain it, just soap and water. This is a 48 inch tub. And here is a 5,000 watt inverter from Harbor Freight. I suggest you walk into Harbor Freight and extend the warranty on the inverter for two years because they don't care what happens to it. So if you damage it from water, whatever it is, you can change it. I mean, you pay 70 bucks, I think. This is just the box for the battery charger that it came in, which is right here. Here's your two switches. One operates uh, the hose, so it's quiet, nothing happens until you open the hose. And then the pump will work on demand. Okay. Cool, huh? The other one uh, here, you can hear it. You can hear the pump going and going, not like the hose, right? Because now we're circulating water into the heat exchanger back into the tub. So this heat exchanger, if you follow those hoses, is coming from here. So I'm going to lift the lower cabinet. Here we have six batteries. Okay, make sure you check the level in them once a month. Here is the heat exchanger input output. So a hose comes in from the engine here, goes back to the heat exchanger back there. It routes back into the other hose back to the engine. So please always make sure you have water in the engine, check it regular, check the oil level, make sure it's running good, and change the oil every 3,000 miles. It will keep your bus nice and running for a long time to come. I've seen these buses with 450,000 plus miles on them. So then, let me turn this off so we don't get the noise. So when you come in the morning, you fill the top, Turn on your engine, the engine has to be working, so the water gets hot, then we do the heat exchange. So you turn on the pump, and as you turn on the pump, it'll start operating. The water from the engine will heat the heat exchanger there on the even plates. The odd plates are carrying water from the tub back into the tub, so it's gonna the two pan the two the plates are gonna touch each other there's like 20 of them so 10 of them are for the engine 10 of them are for here engine is 180 degrees the water here let's say it's 60 but they're touching so eventually they're gonna try to even out 
Within 10 minutes, you should have water about 80, 90 degrees in here. So we don't need propane, save money on that. We don't need a generator, especially with the price of gas now. So we use the six batteries with an inverter, 5,000 watts. You turn on the switch here. Wow, full greens. And you have your inputs right here to plug in your appliances, your clipper, your blow dryer, etc. On this first, and then at night time, always uh, plug this in, which is your uh, charger. Uh, it plugs into an outlet, extension cord to the house, right? Now, on this unit, we have solar. So we had put solar on top, given us like 400 watts. It comes down here, wires, hooks into your charge controller, Right now, we have 14.2 volts stored in these batteries. That's per battery. So we have 100 uh, amps, I think, per battery at 14. That's like 1,400 watts per battery times six, 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 six 80, 8,400 watts of power. You can go camping with this. You have plenty of water to heat up. You can put a nice sleeping bag here plenty of energy with the solar some people don't even charge the battery they just depend on the solar but uh, i had a guy after like three months he called me up he said george nothing is working i said why he said there's no juice i said well um are you charging it he said charge what i said the batteries he forgot he had to use the battery charger he's been using just depending on the solar and it's been raining in Houston for three consecutive days. So for three months, it's just running on solar. But again, I don't suggest it, it's up to you. Always good to carry an extension cord. Something goes wrong, you can plug into the owner's house and finish your job. This is uh, the cabinet here. You have a lower, you have an upper into the tub. Big dogs, don't break your back, don't carry the dog. Lower cabinet, upper cabinet, right into the tub. And back there, you can even, you have one grooming level here with the table. You have the floor to groom big dogs on. Another level here, you put this tie down here so you can tie the dog. So you have another level, left level, and another one here too as well. And you can also, some people who are tall, We'll take the table on top of this first cabinet, and now you have a nice, uh, if you're tall, like let's say six foot two or so forth, then you can have a nice, so you don't break your back again by bending. Uh, as far as the AC, most of these buses, this one here has a rear AC. The front AC is just like any other uh, car. You, you put it on AC, right? And then it blows. AC maximum maximum cool here see thicker blue turn on and now you have your rear AC back here and that's it okie dokie my name is George I can be reached at 818-512-8125 if you want me to build you a bus or you want to buy one from me and so forth bye bye